και πρέπει όταν είναι καλά παιδάκια και κάνουν ε, αυτό που τους λένε να τους δίνουμε ένα μικρό μπισκοτάκι mm, Promising youth Hello, I am Valia, this is Jorge and this is Jorge's adopted pet Phoenix Tonight, as always, we will be covering some of the stories that never made it to the 6 o'clock news Oh, wait, oh, but the first story did make it to the news in fact, it made it everywhere, the news, the TV, the papers, every mainstream website, and generally it, it went kind of viral. It is not about a dog being poisoned, hanged, drowned alive, shot, abused or neglected. <laughs> Those are not important enough because who cares if the country is filled with wannabe serial killers? <laughs> the public needs to know the other stuff, you know, so that they can feel better about themselves. So let's get to the first story. A British tourist was mauled to death in Rhodopi by, according to the proud and accurate Greek journalists, stray dogs. It's always the stray dogs' fault. I mean, no wonder people poison them. However, according to the evidence, she was not attacked by strays but by loose guard sheepdogs as she was walking down a path in the countryside. <laughs> That's interesting, but the stray dogs are always to blame. The British tourist was killed by stray dogs, but there are no stray dogs up on the mountains, just sheep dogs. Yes, but she was killed by stray dogs. Ah, the next story explains the ferocious attack and the stray dog problem in Greece. In Kozani, in the middle of nowhere, seven puppies were found abandoned in the middle of nowhere, I've said that before, uh, with no chance of surviving whatsoever, and they are desperately looking for a foster home or an adoption. Hey, wait a minute, those look like sheep dogs. Hey, oh, maybe they were abandoned because they were not good enough at killing tourists like their mom and dad were. <laughs> Three more ferocious puppies were abandoned in Nathpaktos in a cardboard box. Oh, look at them. They look so dangerous. Oh my God. The puppies are malnourished and suffer from mange. They were rescued by the local charity. Jeez, I mean, are those volunteers afraid? I mean, look at them. They're going to mold them to death once they're up and about again, I'm sure. Huh? Well, isn't puppy rescue dangerous? I mean, they grow up and kill people. Yes, it is very dangerous. That's why we are taking every precaution necessary. In Nafpaktos again, jeez, I mean, this town never ceases to amaze you. The corpse of a dead dog has been left to rot in the garden of the Xenia Hotel. <coughs> that's it, that's the story. Uh, so this is our dining room. <laughs> over there is the pool. And uh, over there, next to the corpse of the dead dog, is the playground. Where <laughs> the kids really enjoy it there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ending the town in Nafklion, a severely sick and neglected dog was rescued by a volunteer who is begging for help because he already has like about 100 dogs under his care. Hey, maybe they should take her to this hotel in Nafpaktos where she can at least die in peace. <laughs> the dog is microchipped but not registered. I mean, why should she be registered? It's not like anyone checks. In the amazing town of Lutraki, a stray cat was found hit with a fishing... Uh, stick, whatever this, you know, thing is called, and dumped in a sewer drain. <laughs> She's recovering from her wounds in the local clinic. Oh, hi, honey. Did you get any fish today? No, just got a cat. So you want to roast it or fry it? <laughs> it's the Greek version of catfish. <laughs> and the Greek authorities are still trying to close down the Clive Dog Shelter in Chalkida uh, because after years of operating legally, it has now been labeled illegal because uh, illegal houses that were built around it uh, now make the shelter illegal for being too close to people's illegal houses. 
<laughs> responsible government employees burst into the shelter one day intending to remove the 150 rescue dogs that are living there and to transport them to the public concentration camp oh, I'm sorry uh, to the public dog shelter of the town um, that operates without a vet and gets all the EU funds you know and everything <laughs> Let's take a look at where those 150 dogs are going to be moved. Money. Well, at least this is legal. <laughs> oh, the next story is worth a million bucks. <laughs> I can't even remember it by heart, so I'm gonna kind of read it. Um, a stray dog hit by a car in Aspropigos was about to be collected uh, with a shovel by a garbage collector of the municipality and dumped uh, into the garbage truck while well, he was still alive. Uh, the employee was spotted uh, and stopped by a volunteer and then she confronted him uh, and his response was, look at it, it's going to die. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait for it, there is more to the story. Uh, the moribund dog was taken to a vet clinic that collaborates with the municipality and was denied access by the vet who claimed that she doesn't have time to waste for a stray dog and instructed the volunteer to leave because he was going to lose customers. <laughs> <laughs> the dog was taken to another clinic and is now on IV, recovering from humanity. Oh, help, I'm hit by a car. Oh, oh God, poor woman. Oh. Please call someone. Uh, hello, is this a garbage dump? I have an emergency. And another stray dog in uh, the city is not mentioned was rescued by a volunteer after receiving a blow in the head, almost fatal. Uh, he's now recovering at the vet clinic. And maybe he didn't want to get into the garbage truck by himself, so they had to, you know, force him. Hmm. Oh, will you get in the freaking truck? And last but not least, in a seminar organized by the Panhellenic Animal Welfare Federation, police officers of the LAPD and the Assistant District Attorney of Virginia, wow, uh, informed the Greek police force on the cycle of violence uh, and on how animal abuse cases are linked to domestic abuse. Meaning that if you are called for someone who beats his dog to death, you might want to look into it because he's probably hitting his child. Hitting his child is illegal, so if you go there and when you're called for a dog, you might save a child. Does that make sense? Oh, whatever. For the first time in our show, I'm going to be ending this episode with the all post of the week because today is my birthday and I'm kind of happier than usual. <laughs> Um, well, uh, my birthday is not today. I mean, it's not today uh, that you are watching this video, but it is today that I am filming it. Oh, I just told those people that we're not going live. Anyway, our favorite all post for this week is Bozo and he is my own personal rescue and I'm deeply in love with him. I had seen him in a village in southern Greece about a month ago and uh, I, I couldn't forget about him. So I drove back last Sunday and uh, rescued him. I just, I didn't want to see him, you know, end up in a garbage dump or run over by a car or hit with a fishing stick or end up in this, you know, public concentration camp dog shelter or bite a tourist to death. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. <laughs> Look at him. Bozo? Okay, thank you for watching. You can find the original or additional links of every story in the description box below. From Jorge, Phoenix and I, have a good night.